Hello guys, Lifehackster here, and today we are going to review and check out the latest version of the Wisecam, the Wisecam V4. Think of it as the Wisecam V3 Pro, but better, and not just on the pricing. And I'll tell you why later in this video, so keep on watching. Thank you Wise for sending me this V4 to be reviewed. This records in 2.5 Quad HD, 2560x1440 pixel resolution at 20 FPS in daytime. It has spotlights, 72 lumens bright that can turn on at night for color recording and records also at 20 FPS and 15 frames per second in infrared night vision. It has a 98.5 horizontal and 53.1 vertical field of view. It has the smart focus feature like the V3 Pro which zooms in during live view on the detected motion. It also has the voice warning feature when a person is detected. Hi, you are currently being recorded. And same as other wise cams, it can record motion events or even 24-7 in a micro SD card inserted on the camera itself up to a 512GB card. To get all the features of the camera like smart detection, cloud recordings, whole motion events, and no cool-off, you will need the Cam Plus subscription, which starts at $2.99 per camera per month or $9.99 per month for unlimited WISE cameras. This only connects still at 2.4GHz Wi-Fi but has Wi-Fi 6 connection support. It is weatherproof with an IP65 rating and is compatible with Google Assistant and Amazon devices. Also, there are two color versions of this. We have the traditional white one and a new gray color, which I'll be opening up. Inside the box, you will get a quick start guide. We have the camera itself, and I'm definitely liking the two-tone color, matted gray texture. We have the spotlights, infrared LEDs, camera lens, mic, status lights, and on the back, we have the speaker. And just like the V3, still micro USB. Same magnetic stand. And then the bottom here, we have the rubber flap that covers the micro SD card slot. And we have the setup button. It also comes with the metal discs for magnetic mounting, a 3M mounting tape, and we have a 6 foot flat micro USB cable, mounting screws and plastic anchors. And we have the power adapter. And take note 5 volts, 1 amp. All right, just a quick comparison between models. This is the version 3, same size. The V4 is just a bit rounded. And we have the V3 Pro, also same size. And the entry-level Wisecam OG. Let's set this up. Open up the Wise app, plus sign, add device, cameras, Wisecam V4, plug in the camera, press the setup button, choose your Wi-Fi network, and wait until it is successfully set up. Name your camera. And I'll be testing this with the Cam Plus subscription. Time to install this. And you can install this in a wall, but WISE recommends 30 centimeters of clearance from the ceiling or eaves to prevent spotlight glare. I'll be installing this under the eaves inverted. Screw in just one screw, not but not all the way, so that you can hook it to the hole on the stand and slide it forward to secure it. Run your power supply and plug it into the camera. Let's check the settings in the app. When you open up the Wise app, you will see the recent snapshot from the camera. Click on it to get to live view, which loads up pretty quick. In here, you can turn on the spotlight, which will change the camera to color mode. You can start two-way talk, which is full duplex. SD card to view recorded events on the card. And you will see this timeline. And I have set this to record 24-7. But it does mark the motion events. You can take a snapshot of the live view or record it. And this has the smart focus, where in live view, it will zoom in on the person that it detected. You can also manually trigger the siren. On the bottom here are the recent events, which are on the cloud. If you're not subscribed, then it will be snapshots only. But this is where you can view and download the footage to your phone. Gear icon for the camera settings. Detection settings, sensitivity, low to high. You can have motion zones, which is a grid type. Motion tagging. Motion warning. You can have just a tone or you are being recorded. Hi, you are currently being recorded. And you can choose how often the sound will repeat, every 10 seconds up to a minute or just one time. Event recording, it can record motion or sounds. And because I'm subscribed, I have smart detection options. Same thing with notifications. All right, one difference of the V4 to the V3 Pro is that the V4 is only needing one amp power. So it is compatible with the Weiss lamp socket. V3 users that use the socket can now upgrade. We have the spotlight settings, change brightness, low or high, or you can set it to activate when it detects smart events only or all motion, or you can even schedule it. Advanced settings, and you can record continuously or motion only to the micro SD card. 
and we have the night vision options. Now time to do some testing. So this is the video and audio quality of the Wisecam V4 and video clarity test at 10 feet. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, test. So this is the video quality of Wisecam version 4 night. And this was spotlight turned on. And this was like a 10 feet. 15. 20, 30. So this is the video quality of the Wisecam V4 at night. And uh, this one, uh, no spotlights and no infrared night vision. So this is showing a starlight sensor. This one looks like a 10 feet. 15. 20. 25. 30. So this is the video quality white scan version 4 night and this uh, spot top and we have four infrared LEDs and this one at 10 feet 15 20 25 We are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the Wisecam V4 and I'm on my 5G cellular network. There's barely a signal and it is 316. So let's check it out. Status light is on and we'll just wait for the notification. There you go. Not bad. Click and hold and you will see there's a snapshot and when you click on it, it should open up the live view and should load pretty quick and I'm zoomed in right there all right so I have the camp plus subscription so I sh there should be no cool off so it's 317 it's been less than a minute and we'll see what uh, if there is a cool off or if there's not I should get a notification again <clears throat> status light on just waiting for the notification not bad all right, cool. As you can see here again, let's load it up. Yeah. It zooms in. There you go. We are going to test the maximum detection distance of the Wisecam V4. And uh, I've set the motion sensitivity to the highest and person detection only. I also turned on the uh, motion alert, I guess. And you will, if it detects me, you will hear a sound. This is 40 feet. You, are currently being recorded. you heard that? I'm not sure if you heard that. Yeah, I got <laughs> I got detected. Right there, cool. This is the audio quality coming out from the Wisecam version 4. This is the audio quality coming out from the Wisecam version 4. So what do you think? Releasing this Wisecam V4 kind of puts a nail in the Wisecam V3 Pro's coffin. I'm not sure if Wise is still going to sell them or the V4 is the replacement. This version 4 is definitely an upgrade from the Wisecam V3. Better resolution, has a spotlight, and basically has the features of the V3 Pro. And is compatible with the Wise lamp socket. So you can definitely upgrade your V3s if you have this setup. And that black and gray two-tone color though, that's sweet. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.